Hello, this is Louise Hay, and it's my pleasure to invite you to my kitchen today, where we're going to do something with celery root. This is Ali Akadro, and this is Heather Dane. Welcome. Hi, everybody. We're so excited to welcome you to our Thanksgiving holiday meals. We have some recipes to share with you, and some of them will be in a booklet that you can download. And we wanted to show you this one because it's a little bit different, and maybe you've never seen celery root before. The beautiful thing about celery root, and I think you said it's called the hairy bulb, right, mm -hmm. Alia? <laughs> it's, it's not beautiful to look at, but it's fabulous for the body. So often when I go to the store and I buy this, everyone asks me, what do you do with that? What is that? So it's, I, I love telling them and sharing this recipe with them. Um, they can be used in replacement with potato, and they're half of the calories of a potato and half of the carbs. So even if you have someone that's really into their potatoes, you can supplement this with your potatoes. So it brings more of the nutritional value, because carbs and potatoes are just going to go into your body and be like a big brick in your gut especially if you're eating it with a lot of other complicated foods on your meal. So it's got an amazing um, amount of minerals and magnesium and B6 and other B vitamins and, as Heather mentioned, vitamin K, which is great for your bones. It also has a good amount of calcium in it. It's a root vegetable, so it grows in the ground. So this isn't an area that you want to skimp on organic because anything that grows in the ground is going to absorb the pesticides as well as the nutrients from the soil. So a better grown root and an organic root is the way to go. Now the good news with this recipe is that everybody can get excited about it. People following paleo, vegetarians or vegans, anybody who's following a diet like the specific carbohydrate diet or working on your small intestine health, this recipe is for all of us. And what we're going to do here is show you how to make a celery root. The first thing to know is that celery root is a member of the carrot family, and this recipe is actually beautiful for bone health and brain health. Fabulous, fabulous vegetable. Now, in order to do this, we peel it. Now, when you do this, Alia, do you peel it with a peeler? No, I use a knife. You use a knife, and that's what I do, too. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's really hard, but it's actually really soft. So we just cut the skin off around the edges like this, and what you get after you cut the skin off and cut it up into cubes is this. Now you don't have to cut it up really small, but it'll cook faster if you do. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do with this is we take about three celery roots about this size. You cut them up, peel them and cut them up, put them in a saucepan, and cover it with water. So now let's all talk about spices. Because what we're going to do here, now all of our recipes in, the, in our book, Loving Yourself to Great Health, Thoughts and Food, The Ultimate Diet, all of the recipes are actually designed to help your digestion. So this is one of them. They're also designed to help balance the five or six tastes in Ayurvedic medicine. So sweet, salty, sour, pungent, bitter, and astringent are the six tastes in Ayurvedic medicine. And when we make recipes, what we're doing is balancing out those tastes so that even if you were to eat this meal by itself, you would feel very satisfied. It's a fabulous thing to take on the road when you're traveling. Now, what we're gonna do first is we've got a quarter of a cup of, um, of coconut oil here. We've taken a little bit aside here to put into a pan. And one of the great things that, that Ayurveda teaches us in terms of cooking is to release the aromas of the spices because we're getting the medicinal properties released so that they can go into the food and it makes things taste so much more delicious. So what we've got here is we've got a couple of tablespoons of thyme. Thyme is fabulous for a number of things. Mm -hmm. it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, it helps to stimulate the brain and circulation, and it aids in digestion. We all awesome. could use more thyme. <laughs> <laughs> and it Many grows ways. very easily in most gardens. Yes, and if you want to use fresh, you can. You, um, you can adjust it a little bit if you're going to use fresh, but these are always available in your cupboard, so they're really easy to use. So we're going to throw that into the saucepan. And then we're going to take rosemary. I love rosemary for moods, mm -hmm. enhanced moods. Mm -hmm. And if you like rosemary leaves, you can use the, the whole leaves. But we like to grind it. Don't I do. We? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it grind. This is Louise's favorite, so we're honoring her today mm -hmm. with this recipe. <laughs> it stimulates the blood flow to the brain. So there's a lot of studies that have shown um, it increases cognitive function, memory. Rosemary is for memory. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous. The oldage. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in one of our favorite spices. All three of us love turmeric. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful yellow. Now, this will tinge the recipe a little 
orange, but it's beautiful. So anti-inflammatory, anti-disease, mm -hmm. tons, of, about a thousand studies done to show its anti-cancer properties, and you use it a lot in your practice. Yeah, the liver loves turmeric, and it does beautiful things for the skin. It'll help flush the skin, and so if you have something coming up where you want to have really gorgeous looking skin, do lots of extra turmeric. We've, we've experienced um, situations where we'll make a little honey and turmeric and put it on, sp on our mm -hmm. face, and it's, it's not attractive, but it does good things. <laughs> so here is the turmeric. Okay, and then we're going to throw in some black pepper, fabulous metabolism booster, fabulous digestion booster, and um, you like to grind fresh. I do. You, you like to grind fresh. And one of the things that I love that Louise does is she grinds it and then combines it with sea salt, and you can carry that around with you everywhere. Mm -hmm. No matter where you go, you get good pepper and good salt. Yes. It's always prepared. She made a, a blend for me that I carry wherever I go, and I appreciate that. So here we go. Friends share spices. Okay, here we go. And now we're gonna hold off on adding the sea salt. We've got a half a teaspoon of sea salt in here. So here's all of the spices. We're gonna heat this up on the oven for about a minute or two. Really gently low heat. Get those aromas. When you start to smell it, it's ready. So now that the celery root is boiled, we are ready to go and mash things up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reserve a little bit of water, a third of a cup or even less than that. You can always add more water later. Now, for those of you who are meat eaters, you can even take about a third of a cup or less of the broth that's at the bottom of your turkey, or if you're making ham, that's sort of the drippings in the pan, and add that because it really makes a lovely flavor. If you're not a meat eater, skip it. And what we're gonna do is take this beautiful spice mixture and we're gonna put it in. Now, the spice mixture, we have a quarter of a cup of coconut oil in this recipe. You can see some right over here. We've taken a little of it to make this spice mixture. And now, oh, thank you. Yeah. Now we've also can, done it with ghee, which is really ghee's delicious. Ghee is fabulous, raw mm -hmm. butter is mm -hmm. fabulous, yeah. So we can put this in. Now, nobody's gonna cry if you wanna have double or more the amount of coconut oil or butter. Nobody will cry about that. It makes it delicious and creamy and wonderful. So while you're making this, once you've mixed it up, just taste it, and if you want a little more, throw a little more in. Now, the celery root gets so soft that you can I can actually take the spoon and, and mash the celery root with a spoon. Now, if you have something like this, you could use a fork, or you could use something like this to do your mashing. Potato masher. Potato masher, right. While you're mashing, we're going to have you add the sea salt, which is full of trace minerals, fabulous for your adrenals. You're welcome. And there are so many spices in this recipe that are good for heart health that all those messages that you got about salt being bad for your heart health is typically because they're talking about iodized salt. And when you're using sea salt or pink Himalayan salt, you're actually doing what the body needs. It needs minerals. Your heart needs minerals. Your body needs minerals. So this adds it back in, one teaspoon of salt. Now, you could use a hand blender, also called an immersion blender. So with a push of the button, you can turn it on and you can do your mashing. You could use a food processor or you could use a high-speed blender. All of that really works well for a recipe like this. So looking once, good. looking good and smelling smells good. good, yeah, we love the smells of those spices. It's fantastic. It makes us want to eat it right now. Now, I have to say that as of two years ago, I didn't even know anything about celery root. I would have been one of those people going up to Alia and saying, what is that and what do you do with it? Um, however, on a fall night, I was at, in Louise Hayes Kitchen. Yes. And Louise taught me how to make celery root. We ground it up. We did a grater, actually, mm -hmm. and braised it. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the best things I've ever tasted. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yeah, you always come up with something so good. I've been introduced <laughs> to many delicious foods from Louise. And what, I, what it's interesting about the celery root, because she opened up a, a real passion in me for having it, so I have it quite a bit, is that, um, like mashed potatoes, if you add spices to it, if you add things like turmeric, which has a little bit of an orange tint, or the spices that we added to it, thyme, rosemary, if you wanted to put dill in it, it does change the color a little bit. So if I hadn't put any of these spices in, it would actually be a lot whiter than this. The best thing about celery root is it tastes so good that most people won't even miss the mashed potatoes. They'll actually think that this is mashed potatoes and not celery root, and you've experienced that in your home. 
Well, my son loves it, but he's never had mashed potatoes, so he doesn't and well, have he's a two. That's exactly. the taste test, right? <laughs> and I, I love it. I found it because um, in Ayurveda we we look at the different doshas or the different energetics, and I'm very fiery, so my nerves can get dry or irritated. And the um, celery root is really known to relax the nervous system. So after a stressful day, or I really like to have this for dinner after I'm working with a lot of people or need to kind of relax. And I find that with my son also. If it's been an intense full filled day. Not only does it relax you, but it really nourishes the body and the adrenals. And there's something to be said mm -hmm. for comfort food, isn't there? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. we, we love... Yummy. It is mm -hmm. yummy. And, you know, we've, we've all tried a number of different diets, and there are some that take comfort food right out of the equation. Mm -hmm. And especially for people who are going starch-free for your small intestine health, sometimes you can feel like you don't have comfort food. You don't have something that feels, that mm -hmm. soothes your nerves like that. This is one of those beautiful dishes that can do that. And I, I like it cold, too. Mm -hmm. You like Absolutely. it cold? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right it's from the... good for breakfast with an egg. Oh, good idea. Oh, oh good yeah. Idea. Eggs and sort of almost hash brownie type things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So fabulous. So if you're looking for a substitution with eggs, this digests beautifully with eggs. Great idea. So thank you for joining us for our Thanksgiving, for one of our Thanksgiving side dishes. We want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm Heather Dane. I'm Louise Hay. I'm Alia Cadro. And we, and we love, love you. you.